Copper, too, is a versatile and essential element that has been used by humans for thousands of years. It is a reddish-orange metal with excellent electrical and thermal conductivity, high ductility and malleability, and excellent resistance to corrosion. Copper is widely used in various applications, from electrical wiring and plumbing to construction and industrial machinery. Copper is widely used in various applications, from electrical wiring and plumbing to construction and industrial machinery. One of the primary uses of copper is in electrical and electronics applications. Copper has the highest electrical conductivity of any non-precious metal, making it an ideal material for electrical wiring and circuits. Copper wires are used in power generation, transmission, and distribution systems, as well as in electronics and telecommunications devices such as smartphones and computers. Moreover, copper is also used in various industrial applications, such as in the production of brass and bronze alloys, which are used in the manufacture of plumbing fixtures, hardware, and decorative items. Copper alloys are also used in bearings, gears, and other machinery components due to their excellent strength and wear resistance. Copper alloys are also used in bearings, gears, and other machinery components due to their excellent strength and wear resistance. Copper is also an important material in the construction industry, where it is used in roofing, gutters, and downspouts. Its durability, corrosion resistance, and low maintenance requirements make it a popular choice for these applications. Furthermore, copper has important applications in the field of medicine. Copper compounds are used as a fungicide and bactericide, and copper is also a necessary micronutrient for human health. Copper is involved in various physiological processes, including the production of red blood cells and the formation of connective tissue. Moreover, researchers are also exploring the use of copper in medical applications such as wound healing and cancer treatment. Copper nanoparticles have been found to have antimicrobial properties and can be used to prevent infections in wounds. Additionally, copper is being studied for its potential use in cancer treatment. As certain copper compounds have been found to inhibit tumor growth and induce apoptosis, programmed cell death, in cancer cells. As certain copper compounds have been found to inhibit tumor growth and induce apoptosis, programmed cell death, in cancer cells. In terms of environmental impact, copper mining and processing can have negative effects on soil and water quality. Copper mining can lead to deforestation, soil erosion, and water pollution, which can harm ecosystems and human health. However, the copper industry has taken steps to reduce its environmental footprint, such as implementing water treatment systems and recycling copper. Moreover, recycling copper can also have significant environmental benefits, as it reduces the need for new copper mining and processing, which can have negative impacts on the environment. Moreover, recycling copper can also have significant environmental benefits, as it reduces the need for new copper mining and processing, which can have negative impacts on the environment. Recycling copper also saves energy as it requires less energy to recycle copper than it does to mine and process new copper. In conclusion, copper is a versatile and essential element that has numerous applications in various industries.